Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have explained you law of dominance of Mendel. And in this video, I am going to explain you the second law of Mendel that is known as law of segregation. Segregation means to separate. As we know that the law of dominance was there in monohybrid cross means a cross between one pair contrasting character one pair contrasting character here i have taken two alternative traits of height tall and dwarf or in some books it is written as short it is indicated as parent generation here making gametes this positive sign is indicating as female female this arrow is indicating as male as we know the cross is there in between two pure plants pure means both the alleles are similar here also both the alleles are similar pure word is written but always keep it in your mind that the recessive trait will be visible in homozygous condition only then according to law of dominance when a cross will be there so the result will that these two female gametes written at the top and these two male gametes written vertically this pattern of writing is something to in spite of making lines and making cross here is a block wise pattern termed as punnett square because it was first of all used by the scientist punnett uh, next now we are going to take two plants of f1 generation first filial generation for explaining the law of segregation these two plants of f1 generation are crossed and this condition is to be termed as selfing something different selfing means when two plants of same generation are crossed in one pair contrasting character in f1 generation one trait was not visible here the dwarf trait is not visible means in f1 or the first filial generation all plants are tall one trait is missing one allele is not able to show its own phenotypic appearance now for proving the law of se segregation what we have done we have taken two plants of this f1 generation so i have written capital t small t and capital t small t here again we are talking about one character that is height of the plant just below it i have written heterozygous tall means that two alleles are not similar for this character the this is actually written in a dissimilar way here it is the same so it is not pure so this is the reason why i have not mentioned pure it is heterozygous now next step that again just like the previous way will make gamete capital t and a small t female and again female from the next plant again the gamete will be capital t if it is male will put a sign like this one and small t then will put a sign like this one now going to write these gametes or the symbol of the gametes in this punnett square capital t small t being as a female in this vertical way and of course capital t and small t in this vertical row now this block is there for this one and this one so it is capital t and capital t it is there for this one and this one so it is capital t and small t this block is there for this one and this one so it is capital t and small t this block is there for this ll and this ll so it is small t and small t so now you can observe that 
if any plant contains the capital T, that plant will be tall. Single, double it is there, both the alleles are similar, so it is homozygous. Here, single T, but the plant will be tall. It is again tall because of the single T, capital T, but now dwarf character, dwarf trait is again visible. So, what does it mean that the dwarf or the allele of the dwarf trait, it was not mixed into the F1 generation. No doubt that the character, the trait or the allele was not able to express itself into the F1 generation. But it was not blended with the dominant one. It was not mixed with the dominant one. By selfing of two plants of the F1 generation now the Trade which was not visible in the F1 generation is clearly visible into the F2 generation. So, what is the result? The result that it is to be termed as F2 generation that means second filial generation. But the differences in like this phenotypic P-H-E-N-O-T-Y-P-I-C phenotypic ratio. What is it? This phenotypic ratio means that in what way these plants are visible. So, as we can see that Tall plants are three in number, one, two and three. And one plant is short or you can write as dwarf also. So the phenotypic ratio is three is to one. Now come on the genotype. So genotype, that means the genotypic gene pattern. What type of the gene pattern is there in these plants? So you can observe capital T, capital T. This is only one type of the gene pattern. So, we will write as 1. Capital T small t and capital T small t. These are two plants and having the same type of the genotype that is gene pattern. So, we will write it as 2. And again the last one. This is small t and small t. This is the next genotype. So, it is uh, 1. So, the genotypic ratio for the same F2 generation in a monohybrid cross will be 1 raised to 2 raised to 1. 1 homozygous tall. I am writing in the short. Homozygous tall. 2 heterozygous. Heterozygous tall. And 1 last one it is recessive. Recessive. And as I am talking about the height. So it is dwarf. So this is to be termed as law of segregation because in a monohybrid cross, in F2 generation, both the traits are visible with the, pheno with the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, thank you.